A strategy against Ryback would be to try to get the big man down. How do you do that? Well, you have to do it. Take out a leg. Lock him in a sleeper hole. Aim for one of his ankles. Something where Ryback is... The following Diva Contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, from Ireland, Rebecca Quinn. Oh my gosh, I can hardly hear myself think. Oh, this sold out crowd showering her with admiration here. And approaching the ring from Honolulu, Hawaii, the Samoans. Oh, this match is going to be exciting. I can almost guarantee it. Oh, this one's going to be a hard-hitting affair, just the way I like them. There's the bell, and here we go. We're all along for the ride on this one, but make no mistake about it, we're going to have a winner. Into the tie-up they go, but who's gonna end up with the upper hand? Well, I think it's too difficult to tell, even from this angle. Well, I don't think it's a shock to see her doing so well for herself, but she's gonna have to stay sharp. The competition in the Divas division is fierce right now. Quick thinking to avoid that. The arm drag being used to good effect here. Arm drag, one of my all-time favorite old school moves. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. Yeah, this is one of the classic ways to test your opponent. Not today. Too fast. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Oh, that did it. She's in the driver's seat now.
God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. She's trapped. Oh, out of nowhere. The small of the back is absorbing a great deal of punishment here. Hey, the shoulders are down. And a kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. Quick thinking to avoid that. What a brutal DDT. Too fast. Quick thinking to avoid that. Well, she wants this win bad. A high risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Look out below. She's really showing what she's made of here. We're looking at complete domination here. Look at the attack here. Oh, man. Talk about a direct hit. Look at this. Could it be? A devastating bear hug. Look at that grip. I couldn't stand being in a hold like just a dominating display. Yeah. I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. TLC has been a WWE tradition since 2009 when the first event emanated from San Antonio and featured DX defeating Chris Jericho and Big... And will this be it? It may be. And the shoulder's up in time. Well, as long as it's up before that three count, that's all that matters. Oh, she's showing a lot of character by kicking out of that one. Nobody comes back from this. The shoulders are down. Two. And she kicks out. Man, she's not just beautiful, she's tough, too. She's got her. I can guarantee she's not going to like that. No kidding. Who would like that? She's having a hard time getting back to her feet after that. That landed perfectly. Uh-oh. Great match here, but if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. I go to WWE.com all the time to catch up on the Divas. You have to think that's it. Not today, too fast. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. Stay down! Stay down! I think we know what this is. End of story. This one's over. What will it be? One, two. two. to avoid that. Not today, too fast. Hump day! Hopefully this WWE action is helping you get through those midweek blues. What an arm drag. Oh man, he threw him almost across the ring. 
She's tough and not about to just roll over. Stakes are too high. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Quick thinking to avoid that. Oh, look out. She missed her target that time. Yeah, I guess you could say she was just a bit off the mark with that one. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. Just a dominating display. Yeah. Shoulders down. One, two, three. It's over. It's all over. Let's go to the highlights here. Oh, they mesmerized the WWE Universe in that match. I can't believe what we just saw. Highlight after highlight. Oh, there were some unbelievable highlights. Watch this. Here's your winner, Rebecca Quinn. Extremely impressive win, guys. I'll tell you what, Cole. I could watch those two go at it each and every week. What a match. And what an amazing effort put forth by these Divas. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. Weighing in at 275 pounds, Ultimate Warrior. The famous sprint to the ring by the Warrior. And the crowd is just lapping it up, Cole. They love the Ultimate Warrior. I can't wait to see what happens when the bell rings and these two finally get to go at each other. And approaching the ring, from Las Vegas, weighing in at 291 pounds, Ryback! Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. Talking to him earlier today, I can tell you that he's motivated to be remembered as one of the greatest to ever lace up a pair of boots. Who doesn't have that as a goal? With all of his warriors with him in the audience and in spirit all over the world, the Ultimate One is ready for battle. Ultimate Warrior making a move. 
They're struggling for control right now. Oh, struggle is right, Cole. This is really back and forth. So what do you think about Ultimate Warrior? The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. The collar and elbow tie up in a battle for control here. Yeah, and Michael, it's so important to come out of this on top because you can do so many things to your opponent from this position. Man, Ultimate Warrior, what offense. You know, when I think of the Ultimate Warrior, there's one thing I think of more than anything else. His immeasurable power. Combine that with his kinetic energy, amazing endurance, and unstoppable drive, and it's no wonder he's achieved such greatness, including body slamming and defeating Andre the Giant. Ryback turns the tide. Well, that's one way of getting out of trouble. Not today, too fast. Oh, his back crashing into the ground. Back in the ring now. Yeah, let's just see how long they can keep it in the ring. Warrior has observed a lot of abuse here. He's in trouble. Back pain could be dull, achy, sharp, or stabbing. This might be a case of all the above. I agree. Dull, achy, sharp, and stabbing. King, earlier you mentioned the ultimate warrior's Herculean power. Something else that always amazed me was the warrior's speed. For someone who was six foot two and weighed 280 pounds, the warrior sprinted to the ring and kept that energy level constant throughout his matches. Yeah, Michael, believe me, I was in Memphis when Warrior first started his career, before he was Warrior. And I was in the ring with him in the 90s. And let me tell you, it wasn't fun. The way Warrior combined his speed and energy with his power made for an almost unbeatable individual. I can't wait to see what Ultimate Warrior does here. Pains me to just watch the force brought to bear on that atomic drop. Man. Oh, that had to hurt your tailbone. It's an amazing atmosphere in this arena tonight. Oh, you're right. Big fight feel here, no doubt. Oh, he looks like he's in no man's land here. He needs to be able to put things back together here. Michael, this is a dangerous position to be in. He needs to be able to find a way to clear the cobwebs and regroup. Looking for the quick cover, his ultimate, and a kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. I give the kid his due, but I don't know how much more Ryback can take. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Let me tell you, whenever Ryback enters the arena, the fans are in awe of this man. I mean, they're in awe of his power, his speed, and his ability to take down whoever decides to stand in his way. There's a great deal to be afraid of when it comes to Ryback. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Quick thinking to avoid that. That'll leave you gasping for air. Wow, he's still down after that. Ultimate Warrior knows how to polish off an opponent. King, you talked about Ryback and the fear he instills wherever he goes. The fans know that this is a man who will stop at nothing to tear his way through the WWE roster. Ryback can't wait to get his hands on his next opponent, and the people know it. They know Ryback is relentless in his climb up the WWE ladder. Yeah, and Michael, we've talked about Ryback's frightening aura, and let's be clear about something. The reason for that aura is because he backs it up in the ring. Ryback goes in there and annihilates. I mean, Ryback destroys, and that is where there's such fear at the mere mention of his name, Ryback. Look how slow he is to recover here. 
That was some serious punishment. Looking highly motivated here. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? You know, a strategy against Ryback would be to try to get the big man down. How do you do that? Well, you have to do it. Take out a leg, lock him in a sleeper hole, aim for one of his ankles. Something where Ryback is not able to move around and use his power. We're looking at complete domination here. What a merciless assault. I'm not sure if Warrior can rebound from this. Yeah, I can't believe it. The ultimate warrior might be injured, and he might be knocked out here. Oh, out of nowhere! King, you discussed the strategy versus Ryback. If an opponent can keep the big guy down on the mat, off his feet, then they could theoretically have a chance at winning the match, or at least surviving. Ryback is just so impressive. That's it. He's done. Shoulders down. Is it enough? It may be. Two, three. What a win. Man, he's got to feel great. He picks up the win. What a match. Oh, he definitely looked good in that one.